Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please continue standing for 30 seconds of silence. We begin our month-long celebration of Black History. The story of Black History Month begins in 1915, half a century after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. That September, the Harvard-trained historian Carter G. Woodson and the prominent minister Jesse E. Moreland founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. This organization was dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by Black Americans and other people of African descent. Known today as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, the group sponsored a National Negro History Week in 1926, choosing the second week of February to coincide with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. The event inspired schools and communities nationwide to organize local celebrations, establish history clubs, and host performances and lectures. By the late 1960s, thanks in part to the civil rights movement and a growing awareness of black identity, Negro History Week evolved into Black History Month on many college campuses. In 1976, then-President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month calling upon the nation to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout history. Today, Black History Month is a time to honor the contributions and legacy of African Americans across United States history and society, from activists and civil rights pioneers to leaders of industry, politics, science, culture, and more. Join me in celebrating Black History Month. Here are your announcements for today. This week's athletic schedule is, on Thursday, February 2nd, girls basketball versus Shadow Ridge at Shadow Ridge, girls flag football versus Sky Point at Legacy, B at 6 o'clock, JV at 3.30, and Varsity at 4.30. Friday, boys basketball here at Legacy versus Shadow Ridge, B at 3.30, JV at 5, and Varsity at 6.30. Here are some highlights from boys basketball. <laughs> and support our Longhorns. This week for lunch, on Thursday, hot and spicy chicken nuggets or spicy chicken sandwich with lettuce and tomato or grab and go chicken salsa wrap. On Friday, take out cheese pizza or grab and go crispy chicken bistro salad or cheesy breadsticks with marinara dipping sauce. The Legacy Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, FCCLA, is selling Frito Pies for $5 near Room 500 during first and second lunches on Wednesday, February 8th and Thursday, February 9th. Make plans to get your Frito Lay Pies and help FCCLA on February 8th and 9th. Seniors, did you know that Tuesdays and Thursdays during both lunches, you can stop by the Europe office to get assistance with applications? This includes FAFSA, 
college, scholarship, and work applications. On these days, we also provide assistance after school from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Seniors, do you have questions about your application or need support completing your applications for the College of Southern Nevada or Nevada State College? Both schools' recruiters will be here this week. CSN will be here February 2nd at 10.30 a.m. Nevada State will be here February 3rd at 10.30 a.m. Please sign up at tinyurl.com forward slash Legacy College Visits. Activities for this week are as follows. The Latino Unidos Club will sell buñuelos. Hair ties are on sale. You may purchase them through the dance class. Grad night tickets are still available. And Key Club will have their Valentine's Day gift basket for sale. Attention seniors. If you are interested in attending the Senior Grad Night Bash at Universal Hollywood Studios on Friday, May 12, 2023, please attend a mandatory meeting Thursday, February 2, 2023 at 1.30 p.m. in Room 513. We will discuss the itinerary, paperwork, eligibility guidelines, and dress code. If you have already paid, you will still need to attend to receive all the paperwork for the trip. If you plan to spend lunch in the library, be sure to follow a few simple rules. First, number one, make sure to scan the barcode on your school ID when you enter. Two, remember, no food or drinks are allowed without lids. Three, refrain from sitting in the aisles. Please sit at a table or on the couches to avoid any potential misbehavior. Four, if you move a chair, that's okay. Please make sure you move it back. If you have any questions about how to conduct yourselves in the library, please see Mrs. Harding. If you or someone that you know are struggling with stress, depression, anxiety, substance abuse, anger, or other such issues affecting your mental health, the United Citizens Foundation, or UCF, is available at Legacy High School to assist you. UCF's licensed therapists are able to see clients before, during and after school hours on campus. Therapy services are available for students, families, and CCSD staff at no cost. If you are in need of assistance, you may contact UCF at 702-888-6300 or ucfnv.org or refer at ucfnv.org. Remember Longhorns, what should be around your neck every day at school? Your lanyard with your ID. Please take this time to check that you have your lanyard and your ID around your neck. words to grow on. Never give up, for this is just the place and time that the tide will turn. A quote by Harriet Beecher Stowe. This concludes your announcements. Have a great day, Longhorns. Hey, Longhorns.